Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph the ellipse. Um, when graphing an ellipse, we have to know our general form, right? And once we know our general form, then it's very helpful to find our A, B, and C, and then plot how, what those A, B, and Cs are going to do for us, which I'll explain in a second. So first of all, let's go ahead and see. The main important thing when looking at graphing an ellipse is determining which is going to be our larger values. If our values for our denominators are the same, then we have a circle. But since 49 is larger than 9, I know 49 is going to be my larger value, which I will call a. So the, always the larger value, I'm sorry, a squared is equal to 49, and b squared equals 9. Okay. So when dealing with an ellipse, the larger value is always going to be your a squared. Knowing that information, now I can write in and say, all right, well, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, where I said a squared was under the y and b squared was under the x, OK, equals 1. All right, so what's important about writing that general form is not only do I know, I know what a and b are, all right, but I also know that h and k represent where the center is going to be. And since in this equation I don't have an h and a k, I can also say that my center is at 0, comma 0. Now, what is important besides figuring out a and b? Well, what's the values of a and b? What's very helpful about knowing what a and b is it tells us where our major axis is. Because our major axis can be horizontal and vertical. And the major axis is important because on the major axis lies your vertices, your foci, and your center. So since my a is under my y, I know I'm going to have a major axis. And the distance from, oh, I'm sorry, major axis that's vertical. Now, the distance from the center to my vertices is a. So if a squared equals 49, a equals 7. The distance from my center to my vertices, which is not on the major axis, but which is on the minor axis, which is perpendicular to the major axis, is b. So b squared is 9. That means b equals 3. The last one we need to figure out is c squared. Well, c squared is not up here. It's not in the equation, right? But c squared has a relationship of a squared minus b squared. So c squared equals 49 minus 9. c squared equals 40. c squared, or c, now I'll take the square root of both sides. c equals um, 4, square root of 4 times 10, which is equal to 2 square root of 10. OK, now c is important because c tells us the distance from the center to the foci. All right, so now let's go and graph. So we have a center at 0, 0, right? That one's easy. Now again, remember I said it's going to go vertical, right? So from the center, we're going to go up and down to our vertices. And the distance to our vertices is a, which is 7. So I'm simply just going to go up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are my two vertices, which you can see are on a vertical um, axis, which is also where my foci are going to be. And my foci have a distance of 2 square root of 10. So you can use your calculator if you want to and get the decimal approximation. However, I know that um, six, 6 squared is 36 and 7 squared is 49. So it's going to be 6 in the decimal, right? So to find my foci, I'm just going to go 6 in the decimal, which would be right here, and 6 in the decimal. I'm just going to estimate, you know, especially when I'm using a graph or I'm just plotting a graph. I just want to be close. And I want to make sure I give the exact value, which I do. And we're going to write those out in a second as well. And then the last thing I need to do is determine the um, co-vertices, which has a distance of 3 from the center. So I just go right and left. Notice how the co-vertices are on the, on the minor axis. And now I can just connect. Okay. So the main important thing is we already wrote on the center. We want to write in our vertices. Again, the vertices were just up and down 7. So that's going to be 0, 7 and 0, negative 7. The foci was just up and down our, um, our foci. So that'd be 0, 2 square root of 10, comma, 0, comma, negative 2 square root of 10. And then lastly, our co-vertices. We're now just left and right from the center. So that's going to be 3. So that'd be 3, comma, 0, and negative 3, comma, 0. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an ellipse, as well as determine the vertices, foci, and co-vertices. Thanks.